This is Pastor Bob once again coming to you to talk more deeply about what it means for us to live consecrated lives. The next thing I want to talk about is our desire to follow him and to be like him. That is formed and that is shaped out of one thing, obedience, obedience. If we go back to the beginning in the garden where sin and death and destruction entered into to humanity, that question has God said, it's the contradiction of his word in my life, in my thoughts, in my behavior, that wroughts destruction. But when I obey his word, life springs forth and life that is more abundant. When I obey his word, when I take in his word, out of my innermost being flows rivers of living water. And I'm able to impart to others life. I want to be life-giving. What about you? That only happens when we are willing and obedient, when we obey his word. And the challenge for us in this generation where there's so much information, it is easy for us to become like those who have itching ears, who teach to themselves, who heap to themselves, teachers. What is that? text trying to tell us. It's easy for me to listen to someone and actually to embrace someone who validates my view of what's right. It's easy for me to listen to someone and to embrace the ideas of someone who validates my views of what's right. But hear the words of the Apostle Paul. He said, I don't know anything against myself, yet I am not justified because it's God who judges. God judges me, not myself. And that puts the fear of God in me. If I didn't know anything else and I understood that, I would come to realize that it's not my opinion of myself that matters. It's not my opinion that matters because I'm not sovereign, God is sovereign. And when God decides who can change his mind, who can overrule God, he is the ultimate judge. He's the only judge. And because of that, it's his word that we follow and that we obey and who we seek after. Because in the final analysis, it's him who we answer to and every knee is gonna bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Why? To the glory of God the Father. Because what God says is true and that's gonna be made manifest by everyone, every atheist, everyone, every agnostic, every Epicurean, every Buddhist, everyone who has denied the truth will have to acknowledge on bended knee that he is Lord. And I wanna encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make certain that you hit the bell once you subscribe. And as time goes on, there will be other content that you do not wanna miss. So please subscribe and hit that bell so that you can be alerted when new content is available.